I'm Kevin Shaw, and you're watching the Watercraft Journal. Earlier this year, we went down to Riva Racing and got exclusive access to several awesome limited edition machines built for some lucky customers. If you already subscribe to the Watercraft Journal, you may have already seen our articles and videos that we made on the Riva Edition Yamaha GP1800R and the Riva Edition SeaDoo RXPX350. The last of these was a very cool limited edition 2021 Yamaha Superjet. Unfortunately, our audio equipment completely and totally failed, so our exclusive walk around with Riva Racing President Dave Bambus was pretty much trashed. So, instead of not doing the video, I'm just going to recreate it below. Okay Dave, obviously this is not your normal run of the mill Yamaha Superjet. What has Riva done to make it so unique? That's right Kevin, and first let me say what an honor it is to be here with the Watercraft Journal. The personal watercraft industry just wouldn't be where it is today without you. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Rather, let's just walk around this very special Superjet and highlight all the performance products that Riva added to make this Yamaha handle and chop and hit hard on the throttle. Out of the box, the stock Superjet comes with a 100 horsepower TR1 EX engine. Riva reflashed the ECU with the map tuner bundle, bumping the horsepower up and allowing it to rev crisper than ever before. With the new tune, the TR1 needed to be able to draw in more air, so a Riva power filter kit was installed. It replaces the factory air box and restrictive flame arrester, and includes an oil catch can and separator kit. As more air comes in, more air needs to be evacuated out, and that's where Riva's free flow exhaust comes in. Not only does it increase the volume and rate of exhaust flow, but also gives the Superjet a nice throaty sound that the factory exhaust just couldn't deliver. All of that was done below the hood, but above the hood, Riva continued with some really cool upgrades. Yamaha wowed a lot of folks with its aftermarket inspired adjustable handle pull. Riva improved on it by adding a new pull spring to lighten up the otherwise heavy feel of the handle pull. Next, Riva completely replaced the steering with its Pro Light steering system, giving the stand up a far more smoother feel and quick steer adjustment. A pair of 4 degree bulge bars and a new billet throttle trigger with a cable adapter, ODI grips with anodized grip ends totaled out the new steering controls, ensuring a sharper, more concise feel when leaning in hard on the rail or just carving up a quiet coat. When it was time to address hookup and handling, Riva didn't leave anything on the table. A Solus 1217 impeller swapped out the factory prop, a redesigned top loader intake grate features an aggressive blade and rounded chip for increased bite. The resculpted performance ride plate radically changes the Superjet's pitch, with an extended running surface and three vertical skegs for razor sharp tracking. Together with the top loader intake grate, the Riva Edition Superjet only needs one more thing to complete the handling package, sponsons. Riva Racing's new marine grade anodized aluminum sponsons mount directly under the rearmost edge of the bond rail and work to slice deep into the water, giving the Superjet newfound traction and improved cornering stability that the Yamaha just didn't have before. It's crazy just how much difference a little part can make. Wrapping up the package, Riva partnered up with IPD Graphics to whip up some really cool graphics. Available in red, teal, or Yamaha Racing Blue, these graphic kits aren't exclusive to the limited build. Nope, anyone can get them and put them on pretty easily. While we were a little bummed that we couldn't ride this particular Yamaha, as it belonged to a paying customer after all, we were stoked to learn that nothing used on the Superjet couldn't be ordered from RivaRacing.com and installed by pretty much anybody. Nothing shown here requires a master's degree to install. Just follow the instructions provided by Riva Racing, and if you get stuck or run into a snag, Dave promised that the team he's got in the call center are ready to answer your questions and walk you through the installation process. So if you're looking to get a new Yamaha Superjet and really want to wake it up, definitely hit up Riva Racing for any and or all of the parts shown here. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching the Watercraft Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more awesome videos like this, please hit that subscribe button 
so you won't miss out on any of the videos that we publish here six days a week. And if you got to have even more jet ski content, please visit us at www.watercraftjournal.com where new articles are published every day, Monday through Friday, entirely subscription free to you.